everybody. Welcome to episode 9 of the Crafty Cassie podcast. Um, today is July. Let's see, last week, that Friday was the 4th. July 11th. 12th? I don't know. Today's the 11th. I knew that. Um, I didn't make an episode last week because uh, Friday was the 4th of July and I live in the United States. So I celebrated um, and I was really busy the rest of the week before that uh, working all day, every day. Um, and then Saturday I went to a birthday party for a distantly related cousin and then I just didn't have energy and I thought I might as well wait. So, I have lots of things to show you this week. Um, let's see, I have a completed object. I left it upstairs. It's a hat. I'll show it to you next week. Um, but I have lots of whips. I have Ross at Smells Like Yarns uh, July Dishcloth Shade. Which I got started. It's really small. Uh, it's the textured moth, moss, dishcloth. Um, it's it's pretty easy um, to do and memorize, which I like. And again, leftover from June's dishcloth. Let me move this. There we go. That's better. Um. Do, 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 do. So many projects. Uh, da, da, da. My hitchhiker esque shawl, which I believe I showed two weeks ago. It's getting pretty far. I think I have 28 teeth on it now. So it's getting there. That's my hitchhiker. And at this point, the number of whips should start dwindling because it is not cast on a palooza anymore. Thank goodness. Do, 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 do. Roll that up so nobody tries to eat it. And then I joined the Starry Starry Night Suck along impromptu thing with uh, Kenneth of Turbo Knitter, Kim and Sam from Come Knit With Us. I have had some trouble with it. Um, first I didn't get gauge. I had to go down all the way to size US 1's 2.25 millimeters to get gauge and then it was still too big. My mom, I'm making the socks for my mom. And I thought size women's medium fit her no problem because she has smaller feet. And it was still too big, 80 inch, 80 stitches with a gauge of nine stitches per inch is eight and seven eighths ish inches, which is about the diameter of my mom's calf almost. That's, it's just way too small for, it's way too big for her ankle. So, um, instead of continuing to go down stitches, to go down needle sizes to get gauge to fit her, because I am not knitting on needles that small, um, I took out stitches and I went up a size to be on. See, I'm working with US size ones that are two and a half millimeters. So both of these are US ones. They're a quarter of a millimeter difference. But so I'm working at eight stitches per inch with only 64 stitches. So I have gone on Excel and taken out a bunch of stitches on either side. So that the sock will actually fit my mom's foot. Um, it, and that's really my, it's a wonderful pattern. It's just that's my only gripe is there was no real 
um, words about like what size, what is a medium? Define it, please, because there's no actual dimensions for the sock. So unfortunately, I have to do a lot of um, trial and error in order to fit the sock to my mom's foot. So. I think I've got it now. I hope I got it because I don't want to rip this out for a fifth time at this point. So there's my Starry Starry Night sock. And I don't know, I don't need that half paper. I am still working on my Monica shawl out of my hand spun. Jade. Hi, Jade. Um, so I got a really big cake left still. Um, I've been trying to get the socks done at this point. Oh my, God. oh my goodness. So, sorry about that. Um, I'm on clue three, chart three A. So, which is little, oh, here, oh, there we go. Little triangles. Um, it was really weird knitting these uh, holy bits, the flower pattern there. It's supposed to be uh, one is nups and the other is holes. I didn't like the way the nups looked with my yarn, so I did just holes. And that was knit sideways, which is new for me and different, but I, I really like the way it looks. So there's my shawl. And that's it. So you got six minutes. I have, um, let's see, we'll go work some planning. Two kinds of whips. Whips and planning, whips and progress. Um, my mom went with me to my local yarn store when I needed needles and she saw they have like all local yarn stores I believe. Um, finished projects up on the wall as examples and she saw the February lady sweater. And she wants me to make her one. So um, I've got the pattern printed out. I've got the size picked out. Um, I just have to get yarn, which means taking her to a yarn store again so she can pick out a color and a texture that she likes. Um, mostly colors. She doesn't really care about um, feel as much as I do. And then um, I also won a prize for Cast on the Palooza. I got a um, a free pattern from Kim and I picked Claire de Lune. She's very, very pretty. So I picked Claire de Lune. I printed it off because um, I think it'll make a really nice layering piece in the fall. And it'll be nice to knit. Um, I have not picked a size yet. Let's see. I'll probably have to do the large. Because my boob is. But I don't know. I'll, I might have to change it. Because um, I am petite yet plus size. So that'll be fun. And then I have stash enhancement. And... Uh, it is it, good stash. Um, when I went to buy needles, the I, when I went to buy my white yarn, I don't know if I included this in the... I might have talked about this already. I don't know. But I picked up uh, some Noro in Charito. Come on. Oh, fudge monkeys. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Focus, no, but um, it's in the, the, um, I think it's a green and turquoise, olive and turquoise, and it's 45% cashmere, 45% angora, and 10% wool, and it is so soft. I, I love it, and I love the colors. It's really pretty. So I got this, and I got Jilly from Dream, and it is. Just a really pretty, pretty purple and suit the dark gray and black. And this is 100% Superwash Merino 
an eggplant. Pretty. It's a one ply. Both of these are. Both of these are, are one ply. Shoot, that's nice. So that's from my local yarn store, Knitch. Kitch. However you say it. Real quick, I'm going to pause it and then I'll come back and finish my stash enhancement. Back. Alright, um, and then yesterday, maybe the day before, I think it was the day before, I went to Ben Franklin Crafts. Um, the older boy I nanny has baseball camp all week in Oconomowoc. And so I went to the Ben Franklin Crafts in Oconomowoc to kill time. And I picked up two skeins of Patton's Croy socks. And see if I can find it on this one. I don't know if it has a name. Let's see. Spring leaf stripes, which is gray, a little bit of black, really pale green, and some neon yellow green. I'm going to make some socks for myself. Uh, it's 50 grams, which is 166 yards. 75% washable wool and 25% nylon. And then I also got fabric because it's terrible. Um, I got that was for me. I got lots of different fabrics. I got, let's scoot over some closer. Um, this one, which is really cute. It's got little mushrooms and flowers. And of course, because I'm a girl from the 80s, unicorns. This one's really cute. Look at that. This one kind of goes with it. And then this one's really awesome. It has old tiny bicycles and cameras. Uh, some sort of globy thing and then I also got I'm gonna make a quilt for my brother and he is sort of, sort of like a Grizzly Adams paw angles type fella so he really likes the woods and the mountains and um, bears and otters um, and like lumberjacks and it's kind of weird so I got these so bears, trees, and pine. Um, and then I'll probably get like some lumberjack flannel, the red and black. And that make him a quilt. A very lightweight quilt. Um, he does not like heavy blankets that are really warm. He's, he gets overly warm very quickly, so. I'm going to make him something he'll actually use. And then it is tour de place. And I have been spinning. I haven't worked on my electronic spinning wheel yet, but I have a cute little drop spindle. Um, I was using my big one for the lace weight, but I have a smaller version as well. And so I spun up all of the fiber from my February 2013 fat fiber box. I got a mixed box. Um, that one I spun before. So I've got a few. Um, and they're all posted on my Instagram. I've been posting them every day. But, let's see. Take that one out of the package. I spun every day. Go me. Jade. No. So, here is days two through six. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, two through six. <laughs> two through six. And um, I have to say all of the fibers in here, except for this blue one I spun earlier. This one's really rough and I don't really care for it. Um, I wish I knew which one it was. Stitch markers. It's miscellaneous stuff. Jay, get your face out. Um, I still have one from my February box. 
February 2013 to do, but it is um, unwashed fiber. It's White Romney Ram. When first place at the Arizona State Fair, but it still has the lanolin in it, and I want to wash it and process it. Um, so yeah, this one's my favorite. I wish if I had, I'm gonna have to go on and see if uh, Shadowin Fiber Arts has um, more of this. This is super fine merino, but the color is so pretty. It's um, vintage calico, and it's purple and cream and sort of a be brown color and it's just so pretty um I did two ply with this and I got 17 grams I got 18 but there's a little mini skein in there so there's that one this one is a one ply and it is mighty Aphrodite from dawning dreams and it's 23 micron merino um, and it's purples and pinks and a little bit of green. I don't remember. I think um, Shades of Purple was the theme. Let's see. This one is All Things Purple by the Critter Ranch. And it was Wool Llama Firestar and Folk Cashmere. And I again did a one ply. Um, I haven't washed any of these yet, but... I did spin them and make little mini skeins. And this one is Purple Lightning by Levo Luthvarian Fiber Arts and it's Shetland Wool. That's nice. Um, I'm trying to work on a better single. I'm trying to make these all sock-ish weight fingering weight so that I can knit puffs out of them. And this one this one so far has been my favorite out of that box. Probably my second favorite for touch. It's it's 18 micron roving. It's just so soft. It's super soft. Could be a soft, soft pull. Puff. It was uh, a dying wish in frosted berries. I get six grams. That's very pretty. It's like um. There was a cereal that was all like purple, booberry, booberry cereal. That's what it Sorry about that. I got cut off because my phone got a text message, but, um, yeah, looks like booberries. Cereal. Um, I already talked about this. May 2014 box, I started spinning one of them and it was a really cute little, um, roll egg from Row of Pearls, R-O-E of Pearls, uh, Smooth Roll Eggs, Unicorn Farts. It's Merino, Tencel, and Firestar. And it's turquoise and, I really can't see it because my face is in the way. Oh, there we go, that's better probably. Oh no, can't see. Nope, worse. Um, this way, there we go. Um, and it's turquoise, pinks, and purples, very 80s little girl, um, unicorn colors. Um, definitely what I liked. At first time using a roll leg, and it's different. I, I won't say I don't, I didn't like it, I don't care for it, but I think it's because I've never done it before. So, but I've got... Lots more to do still. And this box theme is a uh, horse of a different color. Ooh. I think I'll do this one next. Behold Llama Corn. Baby Llama Corn Fiber Merino Silk Bow Cashmere Icicle Top and Angelina from Wild Time Etsy. Um, I'll show you the colors. It'll won't let me show the colors because of the glare. Oh, oh, there we go. Some pretty blues and a little beige. Very soft. Might do that one next. I don't know. 70% merino. 15 mohair, 15 silk. 
That's just a llama. Llama. Llama, llama. I might do the Hello Pearl next. Finn Romney Cordo Llama Milk Fiber Tinsel Faux Cashmere Silk, silk Noil Silk Thrums and Angelina. And they. Those are top contenders. But yeah, I got lots of different colors. Ooh, this one's pretty too. Kelpie. I don't know why I'm showing you all these. You can go watch the um, the box from May if you're really interested. You know, <laughs> unicorn dreams. Um, I really loved all the colors. And all the little things I got. The cutest one, I think, was this one, which comes in a little condiment container from Le Lethvarian. Merino Ombre so, that is what I will be spinning. Hopefully, I'm going to get my spinning machine done. Um, and I think I'm going to buy July's box, which is birds, birds of a feather. Something about birds. I watched the video yesterday. Love all the colors. So I'm probably gonna watch it. I'm not gonna knit because this video is already probably 20 minutes long. Um, da -dum -dum -dum, but yeah, um, I had a lot of stuff to show today, but you normally don't. So yeah, I hope everyone else who is participating in Tour de Fleece is doing well. Um, I think I'll be able to do better next year when I actually have my spinning machine done and readied. So yeah, I hope work and home and school and all that jazz that you guys have is going well. It's been tiring for me. My boss has different hours. She's working longer hours at the moment, so I'm working longer hours. And I'm... It's catching up to me at this point, but oh, tomorrow's the weekend, so um, I'm going to stop now before I start rambling. I hope you all enjoy this video. Thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe. I'll put the group link down below. My Ravelry name is Crafty Cassie because I'm unoriginal and my Instagram is Lil Gorney, L-I-L-G-O-R-I-N-E. Those are the places you can find me the most. Um, and that's it. I'll see you guys next week.